uh, I'm just gonna assume everything's going right until proven otherwise. I probably should have the smoker burning just a, or the uh, the vent going just a little bit stronger, but uh, let's make sure everything's going right. Return of the griddle. So we're just gonna get these very uh, probably going to be very short today. But we shall see. So much for the non-stick. Let's hope for the best. go. There's that. Now let's get sanitary. One of these days I think I think the better option is going to just uh, have a shotgun microphone. But uh, not today. Not this time. Let's do a little bit more bleach on here. Bleach hand soap mixture. Okay. One of these days we'll get an apron going. There you go. All right. Now we got leftover rice from the other night, let's say. So it's going to be just these bad. These uh, these little doggies, these little pork things. And that's it. We'll get a we'll get fancier next time. But uh, let's see. How do I want? I want a little bit of onion on there for flavor. It's about time for me to sharpen this knife again. It's plenty sharp, but maybe this time I'll actually get a good blade that I want on it, or a good edge. You hear stuff in my headphones, it's because I'm listening to stuff in the background, so if y'all aren't into the, uh, the Dabbleverse business, Y'all should, uh, y'all should get in on part of that. So I think, uh, I think we'll wait for a flip. And then we'll, uh, we'll add the onion, even though these onions are definitely going to take a while. These are definitely going to take the most amount of time. But, uh, let's see, I put the garlic, salt, and a little pepper. garlic salt on here, but uh, what else, what else is there? Maybe I should have used the all season. Oh, whatever. Complete season? Yeah. I need onion powder, man. So I got this on, let's see, this griddle, this electric one, I got it set to 300. I don't think that's going to be enough. To get it to where I want it to be, but we'll see. Actually, maybe because it's lower, maybe we should just increase it. But I don't know. Let's throw the onion on there now. Let me see what else I got in here to throw. Just throw on that griddle. Nothing. I got nothing. I literally got nothing. I should have made more rice. 
or I should make more rice. Meh. But I wanna we'll get we'll get fancier one of these days. Uh, we'll get fancier next time maybe. Probably, probably we'll get fancier. I'll bring out the uh, I'll bring out the electric hot plate. We'll actually do some stuff on the uh, on the pan. This is actually quite basic, but I'm on a time crunch today. So, uh, uh oh, where are my tongs? I just washed them. They're freshly they're freshly cleaned. I just put them away. Where are they at? All right. Well, they're gone. Oh, well, we'll use the small tongs, I guess. Small tongs. No. Where are they at? Where are they at? I keep looking at the drawer that they should be. They're not there. Edges are starting to brown a little bit. It's the it's the fat on the side that I have great concern with. I don't know how we're gonna get those properly cooked up. Man, I wish. Yeah, it should be fine, right? They're thin cut after all. My only concern is the oil. Use what I got. Uh, don't flip them. Don't flip them. Don't flip them. I should have had a timer waiting on these. non-stick after all. See? Classic. Actually, putting it right on the heating element was probably... Look at the difference. Look at the difference. So the heating element goes, you know, goes in a, goes in a little rectangle, right? Bam. See that? that to walk. But uh, would you look at that, the uh, the crisp, the crisp layer formed on the outside, perfectly aligned on the ones where all the pork is on the uh, heating element. And the one in the center, that's uh, not in particular next to that heating element. Guess what it's doing? Cooking slower. There's strategy to this, I swear. A strategy of just buy, buy gas, get gas. That's the strategy going forward. I guess. All right, that's good. I'm not going to be needing that. Just throw that in the sink. And uh, the thing that I'm watching is just let's see. Let's get disconnected from the old Wi-Fi. Yeah, it did. Yes, sir. There. Let's see. Can I center this now a little bit more? Or let's see. Yeah, kind of. Throw a little bit of garlic salt on there. Question is, 
can we do next time? What can we do next time? Some carrot? What about next time? Next time we chop it up, put some carrot together, put some onion. Put a little bit of hot sauce in the mix. How about that? I'm gonna have to... I have a feeling for the hot plate I'm gonna need to bring one of my, one of my older microphone stands. So I can put it right on the counter, y'all have a... Uh, up above view instead of this angled view. That'll be that'll be the uh, that'll be the next step to level this up. Bam! Just overhead. The um, there's a there's like a Gator Frameworks, I think is the brand. Uh, they have kind of, well, no, they do. I guess they do have a telescoping mic arm that, uh, might suit those purposes, but it's a little less than ideal. Uh, it doesn't articulate. It's only, it's only got like a flat, it's got a flat level to it, right? So it's only, well, a fixed height. Fixed height is what I should be saying. It's got a fixed height and then it's got a pivot point and then can kind of work with that, but uh, it's a little, uh, plus the weighted end, I mean, it's, it's, it's almost perfect, if you, if it had an adjustable height to it, though, oh, forget about it, you'd be using that instead of, uh, instead of the old tripod, uh, the classic tripod standby that we got going on here. Y'all can't see this, but, uh, let's see. Let me, let me go wash. Let me wash the tongs real quick. The tongs that I'm pretty sure I just threw under. Yep. Then I'm going to have to wash again. Because we're about to touch some raw pork. But uh, there's some, this thicker cut of pork, slightly thicker than the rest. Uh, not necessarily cooking all the way on this edge, on this outer edge here. Yeah, kind of. It's kind of cooking up. Let's see. Boop, 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 boop. See, right. Right, see all that, see all that not cooking pork? All that dangerous medium rare pork that we were discussing on the members only the other night last night midnight but uh, should the end of you know butchering properly butchering the animal in field conditions is going to be a very highly sought out commodity and it's going to be a lesson Hate and blood. That's why, uh, you know, the working theory, this is probably, uh, so you can say goodbye to pork. Because the working theory is that the reason, you know, the big major religions were so against, uh, pork. It's one, because, uh, you know, pigs are, you know, pigs are. Pigs are smart. Pigs are cool, but uh, they eat their own excrement, and I'm pretty sure that's the quote in the Bible. Do not eat the flesh of swine, for they wallow in their own filth, or they eat their own filth. It's something like that. It might not even be the Bible. It's someone's Bible. I'm pretty sure it's a loose, it's a loose quote. Uh, but you know. Preparing properly, butchering, preparing, storing pork before refrigeration and people had a working understanding of bacteria and the viruses and uh, cross-contamination, etc., 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 all the, uh, you know, raw blood handling. It's safer to just abstain from pork. It's easier to tell someone not to do something than it is, uh, than it would be to explain the process of why or, you know, etc. 
Um, I forget who I was listening to. Oh, I think uh, it was an internet historian, I think, had a, like a side tangent to this um, in one of their videos about uh, why so many maps just had like dragons and uh, ice walls and uh, so many, you know, so many things to to get people to try and stop exploring because, uh, you know, manpower is a valuable commodity. A, bo a body, uh, able body is a valuable commodity, so you don't want people just going off, essentially exploring the high seas and uh, getting lost. So it's like this, to discourage that, it's like, you know, no, you know, don't go, don't go trying to explore. There's dragons and ice walls and nothing but miles and miles of... Even if you make it past the ice walls, it's nothing but, like, hard clay for miles after that. Is, uh, and I'm, you know, I'm paraphrasing, internet historians kind of paraphrasing, uh, kind of from something else, which is, I'm sure, a theory as to why those maps were made in such a manner. Or maybe there's a, maybe there's just krakens in the in the deep ocean that we're not aware of. You know, that's also possible. It's why not? It's just as equally possible. Why not? Came to him in a dream. I wish I had my other tongs. Oh, let's check on that pork. See how it's cooking. It's still looking pinkish. I think it's time to do a little flipperino. Worst part is now I don't I don't know if all these onions are safe or not. All this cross contamination touching all the sides of the pork that's was was raw. Are they getting cooked? I don't know. What uh what temperature is safe for uh Cooking off any and all bacterium. Riddle is set to 300. I'm pretty sure pork is 170 degrees. But, uh, what about pork like this where you can clearly see that it's still kind of pinkish? What's the rule? What's the guiding principle there? You tell me. Speaking of the, uh, like you see, bam, hold on, another example, look at that, it's all pink, pink, pink hate, pink love, it's not a steak, but, uh, funny, funny stream, Maybe not funny, but funny stream idea, you know, to bring, to throw back the old Survival Saturday stuff, but, uh, you know, methods of, uh, methods of traveling an environment in a non-permissive environment, let's say. Let's say gas shortages. Let's say, you know, it's not impossible, right? The, uh, the country went through a gas shortage in the, uh, not too long ago 80s. Maybe 70s, right? But uh, you know, how do you? How do you? How, what's uh, what are some methods of like efficiently? Because no one, no one with the the uh, the wagon, the ox cart, you know, the oxen pulled wagons, and horse-drawn carriages. Those aren't going to make a comeback, right? I think those are just a little too impractical because you got to. Nah, this I'm definitely misquoting, but I swear it's like, you know, think of the Oregon Trail. Like just two thirds, I think it was like two thirds of your provisions that like, so two things of your cargo, right? Maybe I'm thinking of like the Roman legionnaires. But, uh, two thirds of your cargo is just food and water to feed the animals that are uh, pulling your resources. So uh, that's inefficient. Of course, now we could probably make that 
more efficient because we got all these paved roads and we're gonna I don't know how the how in tarnation you make rubber but we got rubber tires so uh, you know, that's that's gonna I'll cut down on some supplies that you know more efficient means you can travel longer right but uh, so bicycles e-bikes but that's assuming a working electrical grid you know think have you how have you all ever thought about how you're gonna push stuff I've looked into it I've looked into a uh, wagon attachments for bicycles but the problem is I have a non I have a non-standard form factor bicycle so that means repairs for that are gonna be a little Mm, no. Clear answer is a motorcycle, but uh, motorcycles are death traps. But they're so cool. They're so efficient. When uh, I guess there's no, there's no, there ain't gonna be no highway patrol having to pull you over for not having a, a DMV certified vehicle and such a thing. So the creativity will be off the chain. But uh, do you know how to weld any of that? Do you know how to you know how to weld something, a car? Do you know how to jury rig a car vehicle together? Go karts are kind of plug and play I think at this point. That used to be a I feel like that used to be more of a thing. More in the pop culture zeitgeist was uh, go karts, or at least they gave the impression of it. All these old '90s cartoons, early aughts cartoons—not cartoons, sitcoms, situational comedies—would, uh, you know, the dad would go into the uh, the gay garage. There'd be an episode or two, like the what is it, Pinewood Derby, and stuff like that. I don't know if go-karts are still a thing. Electric scooters are definitely in now. Boy, howdy, would I like one of those. 15 miles, but uh, take... Travel 22 miles, but take 11, 10, 15 hours to charge. Big old lithium batteries. I don't know. There's, there's, there's some... Uh, there's definitely some, something, something about that. Just doesn't add up. Speaking of solar, yeah, solar recharge, no. it really should be its own thing, but instead it's just relegated to background discussion while the uh, while I try to cook and uh, make this pork not not detrimental to my health. Solar power banks. Evan, have y'all looked into solar power banks? Because they're pretty cheap. I knew someone who hiked that would use those things, but have you ever actually looked into like the power wattage and stuff like that? So assuming you're a consumer like I am, you have probably not necessarily the base model iPhone or Samsung, but even those are getting to, uh, to the point where like there are 4,000 milliamps battery or whatever it is, 4,000 ma. A uh, power bank, you know, a, a good power bank nowadays, a cheap power bank, even solar is like 30 to 40 bucks. And those things are going to be like 11 to 12 to maybe 1500 ma. And uh, in order to charge that, uh, if it has a solar power or a solar panel on it, it's like uh, it has to be for like a week's worth of sunlight, if not longer. And those, now that number, that number is hard to get to. How long does it take to, how long does it take to charge on a plug? Those are, that's easy, that's a number that you can easily get. Easily. Oh, it's like 12, uh, even that, like the rate is uh, abysmal. USB-C, it takes 12 hours to charge. Garbage. But now let's say you're trying, you're relying on a grid down situation in order to charge your thing. Well, now you got to store an hour's worth of sunlight on there. So 
say an hour or a week. You gotta wait a week to charge your phone, maybe one time, two times. And then they degrade over time. I don't know. See, these are these are the things that are gonna be upcoming. Like eventually, I wanna buy one and find out. I need to find out. Problem is, the more like the they get more expensive. If you like, if I want, ideally, I'd find one of those cheap Chinese power banks where it's like it's got the LED display to tell you hey bucko after an hour's day of char or after one day of sunlight here's how much uh, here's how much it's charged right I haven't seen one of those yet but then again it was just a passing fancy so more research required But uh, have you put any thought into this? Let alone, I mean, not to, not to say anything like about the, uh, I mean, prioritize water, but uh, <laughs> prioritize having a month's worth of water. Remember, it takes, according to the U.S. Army uh, standards, maybe military standards, but let's just say Army, it takes, uh, you're going to at least need two quarts, two quarts of water. That's uh, four water bottles a day. Two to six quarts is the, uh, the typical U.S. grunts daily water requirement. That's, uh, that's four, somewhere like a four to, what is it? You just double it, right? Four to eight bottles of water a day. Figure it out, figure out your water filtration. Figure out bulk storing of water and water filtration. The tablets will only get you so far. Look up how long you need to boil water for. Potable water. Different. Uh, so many things. I think we're... I think we're just about done here, folks. I mean, I could chop into this and see. Should, we, should I chop into it? I'm going to need another cooking, uh, not cooking, cutting board. Let's see. Oh, fortunately, I can accommodate. Technically, I guess you're supposed to let it rest, but, uh, yep, that's done. Let's cut it in half. Uh, it's a little pink, but if we let it rest right here, see right there, it's a little bit pink, but, uh, if you let it rest, I'm sure that'll come up temperature, but just in case, go ahead and sit that down right there. That'll get washed. Alrighty. I don't know if I... It's probably too late. I don't know if I actually properly showed that to the camera. But oh well. That one I'll check. But uh, we'll let rest. It'll be a... It'll take a minute. It'll take a couple minutes. There we go. Griddle's off. Alrighty, folks. Elden Bling? Nah, let's finish... Let's finish Dead Island 2 tonight. I'll see you... Uh, in the office, so to speak. Hmm. Only, uh, only up to about half an hour, huh? Oh, thought it was a little bit longer, but oh well. All right, and we'll get more fancier. This next time I'll do, uh, how about I bring the hot plate? We'll, uh, we'll actually cut some stuff up and actually do more of a show about it with, uh, you know, electric, uh, with like a pot and a pan, with a pan, mix, stir things up a little bit. And then uh, serve it up. This will all go on uh, some white rice and soy sauce. And uh, maybe I'll even, uh, I'll probably throw in some uh, red hot hot sauce on there. Buffalo flavor. I don't know. We'll see. Alrighty. No more stone. Bye-bye.
Bye.